Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our uh, talk on file sharing with Mountain Lion Server. And we're going to talk specifically this week about how do you connect to your AFP shares. How do you set those up and how do you connect to them uh, both within your network and remotely so that you can get those things mounted onto your various computers. So we're in the file sharing uh, pane right here. And what I'm going to do is just, let me just add a, uh, I'm just going to add a folder here uh, that we're going to share. All right, so I'm just going to come in here and let's go to uh, here, let's say new folder. And I'm just going to call it uh, shared example. That gives us kind of a nice name for it. So there's our shared example folder. I'm going to choose that folder and add it onto our list of uh, folders that we want to have uh, shared. Okay. So now, as that has uh, is coming up here on our share points right here, and you can see there's our shared example folder. Let's go in and edit that real quick. Let's edit the share point and uh, set up the access. So we see that we've got access read and write. We've got pretty standard things there. We want to make sure that the share uh, with Mac clients over AFP is marked. Uh, looks like that is all set and ready to go. So I'm just going to click done here. And now let's look at what it uh, what it takes to mount to those locally on my network. All right, so let me uh, I've got a screen share here that I'll pull up. Let me just uh, put the server down there. So I've got a screen share here now with uh, with my computer. And uh, let me just uh, disconnect from the server here for a second. Now there's a couple of different ways that I can share this uh, with my server. Okay, a couple of ways I can make that happen. I can come in here to the actual server in the Finder. And, uh, and share. And so as I did that, because I'm on my local network, it brings up all of my different folders. And there's my shared example right there. You can see it uh, set up, ready for me to go. I can put stuff in it. Uh, it's right there on my network. And so the beauty of being on your local network is the fact that it knows who you are and allows you to do that sharing, sharing automatically. Now, if for some reason this didn't come up for you, let me just disconnect for a minute. If it didn't come up for you automatically when you clicked on your server, you would just click connect as. You would put in your credentials there to log in. And then everything would show up fine, and there's our shared example folder. All right, so that's a couple of ways that you can, you can make that happen and get that uh, file sharing going. Now, what happens, however, if I want to share this remotely? So I want to do it over the Internet. So let me uh, put this down, and let's pull up our server app here for a second. Let's say I want to access this. Uh, over the internet. So if I wanted to have this uh, accessible, first of all, it's ready to go because it's shared. But what you want to do is come up here to your router. Again, if you're using an Apple router, it's a lot easier. Uh, but as you come up to the Apple router, you just want to make sure that file sharing uh, is showing right here. And you just want to make sure that that's showing uh, within the uh, router there so that you know that the right ports are open on your router for you to access it. Uh, those of you that don't have uh, an Apple router, so you're doing this manually, uh, I've got the ports listed there on the screen for you, and those are the ports that you need to go and open on your router so that your router is uh, open to the Internet to allow fi file sharing to happen between your Mac server and any computers that are trying to access it remotely. All right, So that's how you set that up. But you want to make sure that that's set, or otherwise you won't be able to share over AFP. Okay, let's and let's take a look at what this looks like now on the screen share. I'm going to pop this down here. Let me pull up my screen share, and you can see here I am on uh, the actual client. Now, if you're remote and you're outside your server and you need to connect, you can't connect through the Finder. What you want to do is come up here to the Go menu, and you want to click Connect to Server or Command K, and it brings up this dialog. And what you want to do is type in your server name, the fully qualified domain name. You type in AFP colon backslash backslash, and then it's server dot whatever, you're, whatever it is, server.example.com or whatever you've put in there uh, that would allow you to access that. If you click this little plus button here, it'll add it down to your favorite servers, and then you won't have to put it in every time. It'll just be there available for you. But when I click this connect button, it's going to go out and it's going to uh, connect to my server, and it asks me what I want to connect. And so it shows me all the folders available. So I'm just going to put shared example because that's the one I want. And I'm going to click OK. And now you notice the shared example folder is right there. It's showing up on my volumes on my server. And it's showing up right here where I can get uh, access to it if I want to. And so now I've, I've got access to that folder. But let's say I want to have access to that folder every time I log in. I, I don't want to have to keep going in and clicking go and connecting because this is a particular folder that I use all of the time. Well, here's how you can make that work so that it will auto-mount for you. 
Uh, what you're going to want to do, and uh, let me just, uh, I'm going to put this down here, and let me pop that down. What you're going to want to do is go into System Preferences on, uh, on the computer that you want to uh, make this happen on. And so it's going to pull that up. You want to go into your Users and Groups area right here. It's going to load that up. And then you want to go over here to your login items. And you notice here are all of the things that automatically start when you log into your computer. And what you'll want to do is basically just take this right here. Once it's mounted, you got to make sure that it's mounted. And you want to drag it right into here. Okay? You just drag it right into there. And it's going to add it to our list of startup items. You see it right here. Here it is listed right here, shared example volume. Now, what that's going to do now is every time you restart your computer, it will automatically mount that particular folder for you so that you don't have to mount it yourself. And so that makes it a really simple way to make sure those things show up on your desktop. Now, let me pop this down. You can, you can actually do uh, the same thing too through Profile Manager. I'm going to show you how to do that later once we get Profile Manager configured. But this is a simple way on your client machines to make sure that your AFP shares get auto-mounted onto your computer. So that gives you an idea of how to mount your AFP shares. I showed you a, a few different ways that you can do it. Hopefully that helps you get started in your file sharing. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast on Mountain Lion Server, and we're going to talk about uh, taking a look at some of the other services that are available. So I'll come back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.